Ladies and gentlemen, Paper Dog. A writer's job is to tell the truth, even when it's put into a story. Perhaps especially then. This is the story of a boy, a man named Feige Lee, and of me, Margaret Wen Chen, and of the true hard things that we learned because of each other. I will tell you what I know of Feige Lee and leave him to tell you more if he chooses. But the important thing to understand is that I'm Stephen Chen's daughter, along with all that means. I'm over here, Mom. Oh, there you are. I'm headed to the university. I'll be running late tonight. You think you can hold down the fort? Oh, yeah, sure, that's fine. I'm just about finished going through all the dead stuff. There's so much here. I mean, rough drafts, unfinished articles. You know, Dad's work was Dad. And to lose that, too. I miss him, Mom. I know. I miss him, too. Did you find anything interesting? Not really. You know, he used to write these little notes in the margins. Pick up turkey. That was last Thanksgiving. You know, he was an amazing journalist, Mom. He really loved writing. And his daughter takes after him. You know, he always said, you've got printer's ink in your blood, Maggie. <laughs> Speaking of which, my internship at the Herald starts next week. You're still doing that? I mean, I'm sure they would understand if you didn't feel up to it, considering. I'm going to do this internship, Mom. It was the last thing that me and Dad had planned together. But I'm scared. Scared that I won't be good enough. Maggie Chen, daughter of award-winning journalist Stephen Chen, not good enough? Your father has faith in you, and I have faith in you. It'll be fine. Oh, I've got to get to work or I'll be late. Um, make some pizza for dinner, and I'll be back when I can. Also, call Dad to school and let them know. They sent a postcard last week saying that they didn't have any record of them. Can you believe it? No record of Stephen Chen at all. I'll give Columbia a call and see what the matter is. Where to begin? In the 1930s, many Chinese immigrants came to the United States in search of a better life. The story of Fei Yi Li. Hello? This is him. Yes, I was looking for information regarding my ancestry. Oh, really? Well, that's great news. I booked a flight for next Tuesday. Thank you. Thank you so much. Finally. Progress on family project. Final. Possible, Possible search will end right here. here. Give mail a week, then fly to California. <coughs> family search? Family project? I, I don't understand. I thought Dad's parents were museum directors. Definitely not from California. This looks like a project he'd been working on for a while, but I don't recall him mentioning it. The trouble with the seats is that the poet was right. They do become tangled webs, and you cannot foresee who will become ensnared in them, or who will be hurt if you tear them back. This could be the moment I've been waiting for. Finally, answers. No more lies. Years of searching, and I might finally know the truth. So you have absolutely no records of Stephen Chen whatsoever? Are you sure? Yes, yes, of, of course, I, I understand. Thank you. No records of Dad. No records of his parents. Had he been lying this entire time? Maybe didn't Dad, maybe Dad didn't know where he came from. Didn't know who he came from. I don't care what family Dad came from. I care even less whether he went to an Ivy League school or not. I just wanted him to have been honest about it. <laughs> less than a month ago, my father left on a business trip. This wasn't unusual. <laughs> Being a journalist, his work took him all over the place. But this time was different. On his way home from the airport, <coughs> my father died. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> killed by a hit and run driver. And then suddenly mom and I were alone. If dad were here, he would have known how to fix this. He always knew 
knew how to fix what needed fixing, whether it was a sad heart or a leaky faucet. But he can't fix this, because his being gone is the problem. Next week, I will be the Herald's newest intern. Dad had encouraged me to do this. He knew my doubts and fears, and yet he encouraged me. The last morning, he told me I didn't have to decide at 16 who I'd be for the rest of my life. Is that what he'd done? At some point, did he decide who he'd be? Because he really didn't know? Don't deny what you know, he once told me. But now, I'm unsure of everything, and two big questions remain. If Dad wasn't who he said he was, then who was he? And second, who does that make me? Please held there pending notification of next to King. And then Alright, anyways, do you want something for tomorrow? Can we still treat that as a random killing? Yeah, but I mean I can use the angle that the investigation is going in after. Talk about non news. Was there anything special about the victim? Not really. His name was Donald Landon, a mid-level city employee in one of the east side town. Got shot outside the apartment where he lived. Wait a second. Exactly when did that shooting occur? Friday, May 23rd. But that's when... Uh, Maggie, do you have something to add? It's, it's nothing, it's just... My father died May 23rd. That was the day I had an appointment to meet someone who claimed to know about illegalities where he worked. When no one showed, I just figured the call was a prank. And? The name the caller gave was Dan Lynn, which is pretty cool for Donald Lane. And he specifically mentioned the east side. Maybe they're the same person and you really did know something, but just got caught up in that street thing before you could tell me about it. I think you're reaching. But I might not be. I could take a quick visit to where he works. I could even take one of the interns. Alright, guess I can't hurt. You'll take Maggie. Alright, sounds good. Any questions? No? Anything else? Alright, meeting adjourned. So what is Randy about cover? You'll see. You're going to be my excuse to look around. You just have to appear eager and keep your eyes open. You might not find the story, but fishing expeditions are always part of the job. I know. That's, that's what my dad. Your dad? He was a journalist. You know, I just remember him saying almost the exact same thing. That part of what keeps a newsman going are the possibilities. I'm never going to put it that way, but that's true. So what's he doing now? He died recently. But before that, he covered business news for a friend got in. Maggie Chen! Of course, Stephen Chen's her father! Oh, wow, I've read enough of his work to know how good he was. <clears throat> but I, uh, I read about the accident. I'm sorry. I guess he'd been pretty proud of you for doing this internship. It would have made him happy, but... There's still so many questions left unanswered, and... To be honest, I thought maybe taking this case might shed new light on his death. We never know what you might find when you start looking. 
But be ready for the time when what you find isn't what you're looking for. One more time. So you can give it a round of applause. If you don't, know, if you don't know names or faces, I'll let you know. You can give each of them a round of applause. Melissa Amerson, Tim Green. Kenzie Gush, Brad Smith, Ben Hoyne, Kyla Lloyd, and Abby Lee. A couple other things as well. Hang on. Uh, also wanted to say thank you to. What do you guys are you dancing on? Yes. Oh, you're supposed to. Oh, okay. Uh, also up in the booth, uh, we have uh, Connor Newton was the voice of Mabala. Mm. That was so spooky. Nice job, Connor. Also, Austin Stoutenberg uh, helped us out with some of the technical aspects of the performance. <laughs> and finally, Ben Frick is up in the booth as well. He really helped us out with the technical aspects. Thanks, guys. 